What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Around the Table Sports. We have huge news out of the high school football recruiting world today as the number one offensive tackle in the nation and his twin brother, number one center in the nation, chose the school that they will be attending. Now, the list was Alabama, LSU, Auburn, and Texas, and important to note that they were both Texas legacies. However, the Brockmire twins have chosen to take their talents to the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, and this is big news, especially for a lot of people who considered the Alabama 2021 football recruiting class dead in the water. A few weeks ago, or even a month ago, they were way behind the curve in a lot of these other top programs and where they were in the recruiting cycle, and the coronavirus really hurt. I think a lot of people have to understand that Nick Saban is a super old school guy. He didn't do a lot of the texting. He didn't do a lot of the emails. And so he's kind of had to learn on the fly with the coronavirus and all of this. But that hasn't stopped them. Before today, they sat at the number 10 class in the nation. And now they're at number 6. And I have bad news for anybody who was kind of rooting that this was going to be the beginning of the downfall for Alabama. It's not stopping anywhere soon. And even on top of that, according to 24-7 Sports, they have the second best average player rating in the nation behind only Ohio State, who sits at a 94.85 average recruit rank. Alabama's at a 93.93, and LSU is right on their heels at a 93.46. So what does this mean? Well, like I said, for everybody betting that Alabama was done, they're not Nick Saban continues to show that he is the premier head coach in college football. He is as consistent as anybody that there has ever been. He's as flexible, and that's kind of what gives him his success, is that he's willing to understand what he knows. He's willing to kind of understand what he doesn't know, and that allows him to be incredibly successful. Now, the thing is, right now is that it doesn't look like this Alabama recruiting class is going to be slowing up anytime soon. In fact, it looks like they could be getting significantly better. If we're just talking pure five stars that are still out there right now that could be an Alabama lean, or even considering Alabama, we have to look at Damon Payne and Jaquinsky McKinstry, two guys who, as of right now, have kind of been crystal balling towards Alabama. Alabama splits it with Jaquinsky McKinstry with Auburn. He is from the state of Alabama, so that's going to be an incredible duel. But DeMond Payne has been trending to Alabama for a long time, and if you watch him play, if you watch his film, it makes complete sense. He just looks like a shoe-in at the University of Alabama. But even on top of that, Jason Marshall, the cornerback from Florida, he has been kind of not trending Alabama, but there's been rumors about interest between him and Bama, and I don't understand why Bama wouldn't be interested in him. I mean, his 24-7 sports page has him comp to Xavier Rhodes, and if you watch him play, that's a pretty apt comparison. And I'm not real big on throwing Pro Bowl-type players to, as high school comparisons because it's, it's one, not fair, and two, it's very lofty, very unrealistic. That's why I kind of try and set the bar to a more palpable, more realistic standard. But Jason Marshall, man, he plays a lot like Xavier Rhodes. Now, the only thing that he hasn't really done a whole lot in high school that will need to kind of be taught is the press. But he stands at six foot two with a great frame that can easily put on weight and maintain his athleticism. So that's not going to be a big issue, especially because he's in between two schools. Theoretically, the, the, the knowledge on the, the recruiting world is that he is in between Florida and Alabama as it stands right now. Both those schools are going to coach him up to do exactly what he needs to do, but he has stated that playing for Nick Saban would be a dream. So if we look at this right now, Alabama has three five-star recruits. I believe they're going to snag DeMond Payne, and I think that one of the two, Jaquinsky McKinstry or Jason Marshall, will also be coming along on this class. It wouldn't surprise me if Bama got both. Now all of a sudden you're looking at a recruiting class that just a month or two ago there were national pundits saying that this team is done, this is the end of the dynasty, the dynasty is in trouble. The same stuff that they said in 2015, but the same thing hasn't changed. And that's Nick Saban and what he does. And I think we need to put a bit more faith in that because even though this is a guy that has had to learn how to recruit on the fly during the coronavirus, it's still one of the, if not the premier institution in college football to go play go play at. You have LSU, Ohio State, OU, 
Clemson and Alabama are really ahead of the pack. And I say that because even though this is LSU's first national championship, they're always a great team. They're always very loaded. And Georgia is in that conversation as well as one of the premier programs inside of college football. Those schools right now, it always kind of blows my mind when pundits are saying, oh, well, they're done. But the brand alone helps. And then when you look at the consistency they've had at head coach and what they're doing, it just makes sense that they're going to continue recruiting at this high level. So as we sit right now, Alabama is sixth in the nation, grabbing the number one tackle, the number one center in the nation, and they're still not out of the running for Amarius Mims out of Georgia, another five-star <clears throat> offensive lineman. And if that happens, now all of a sudden you're looking at what could be one of the better offensive line classes in the history of high school football. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, liking, and drop a comment to let us know what you would like to see next.